Hey everybody, welcome to Ultralight Outdoors. My name is Cameron, and today we're gonna to talk about my new alcohol stove setup that I got that I'm hoping to use this summer. Um, I mainly wanted to try out the alcohol system uh, primarily to save weight, but also just to uh, try a different type of stove fuel. And uh, I have used alcohol stoves before, but not for any extended period of time. And I wanted to go with a stove that was lighter and an overall setup that was lighter than what I was using with my canister fuel stove. So my uh, original stove system, the one that I use now and that I primarily use is there on the right. That is the Pocket Rocket 2, as well as 110 gram fuel canister. And uh, canister stoves are super easy to use. They're probably the most popular type of stove. Um, there's really nothing to them. Screw it on and light it, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there in the center, that is my Toke 650 titanium pot, as well as a mini Bic lighter. Um, I will be using that also with my new stove setup, um, and that's what I've used now, and it uh, works great. So there on the left, that is my new stove setup. That is the uh, Graham Weenie alcohol stove. Um, it weighs 0.7 ounces. Um, and then a titanium foil windscreen. And uh, that thing is pretty cheap and uh, weighs hardly anything. So I was gonna talk to you real quick about um, the weight savings, the reason why I went to it, and uh, talk about a little bit about the efficiency of alcohol and when um, an alcohol stove setup is gonna end up weighing more than your traditional canister stove fuel setup. So here are all my weights for uh, my new system and for the canister stove. Um, this is the alcohol system here on this side, and you can see I have these directly across from each other. So just the weight of the stove for the Graham Weenie, which is uh, this little tiny alcohol stove made out of a uh, beer bottle. Um, it weighs a mere 0.7 ounces, so super lightweight, whereas my Pocket Rocket 2 weighs in at 2.6 ounces, so you can see that's a really big savings. Um, next down is uh, my fuel container. So for uh, this bottle right here, um, that is what I will keep my alcohol in. And uh, that bottle only weighs 0.5 ounces, so super lightweight. Whereas uh, the uh, raw fuel canister um, with no fuel in it, just an empty fuel canister. Um, now this depends on uh, the brand you use, but for this Snow Peak that I have, weighs in at 3.6 ounces, so another huge savings there. Um, now, one thing with the alcohol stove is you almost certainly have to use a windscreen. Um, this is a titanium windscreen. Um, I got this from REI. You can get these on Amazon. Um, this is super lightweight. Um, it's basically like a um, really awesome tin foil or aluminum foil. Um, and I cut this one down just a bit um, to make it a little bit shorter. I also trimmed the corners and did some folding in there so that it can hook back on itself. Um, but mine, with uh, all the little modifications, comes in at 0.35 ounces. And that's also with this little square that I cut off here. And this is just to set my stove on top of so it's not sitting directly on the ground. So for all that together, comes in at 1.1 ounces, whereas my canister and the uh, stove itself comes in at 6.2 ounces. So you can tell there is a huge difference between these two here. Um, now, alcohol stoves aren't quite as efficient as canister fuel stoves. There's definitely some drawbacks, um, but that's not really what this video is about. This is more about the weight savings between um, each of these setups. So now let's talk about how the alcohol uh, stove setup, even though it comes in at five ounces less than the canister fuel setup can actually end up being heavier than the canister setup. So I made this little graph here to uh, represent exactly how uh, the alcohol fuel setup uh, can end up being heavier than the canister fuel. Um, here on this side, we have number of boils. Um, it's pretty widely known that out of a small fuel canister, you can get somewhere between 18 and 19 boils, um, at least down here where I live at. And, uh, Pretty much one ounce of alcohol fuel is equal to one boil. Um, that's not always consistent. It depends on the wind. Depends on the uh, um, depends on the uh, water temperature. Um, all sorts of factors go into it. But just for uh, sake of uh, making this easy, we're going to say one ounce of alcohol fuel goes into 
uh, one boil. And that's one fluid ounce, which isn't exactly one weight in ounces, but um, it's pretty close as well. So um, start here at half an ounce for my alcohol setup. And that's because this is um, how much my container weighs. The little bottle starts off at half an ounce. So then we go up one ounce for each boil. Um, whereas my canister fuel is going to start off around 3.6 ounces and goes up to a total of all the way up here to 18 or 19 boils. Um, but we're only over here at around seven and a half ounces. So we're getting many more boils for less um, ounces over here. So this thing is so much more efficient. Um, it takes way less fuel to get a certain number of boils. Now, the alcohol setup is lighter as long as you're only boiling one, two, three, all the way up to four times. And that is primarily um, what I would use it for as a one or two night um, stove um, fuel setup. And that's because that's primarily the types of trips that I take. Um, so the alcohol is going to be better and lighter weight for a shorter trip. Now, these lines here, this is factoring in the weight of the fuel bottle as well as the stove setup itself is only bringing me up to around one and a half ounces for the alcohol and all the way up to around 6.2 ounces for the canister fuel setup. So that will bring my overall way farther over here once I factor in the weight of the stove itself also, whereas I'm going to end up getting somewhere between five and six boils out of the alcohol setup before I meet, before my lines would cross right here and the canister would end up being less weight. So anywhere between one, two, and three nights out of this alcohol setup is overall going to be a lighter weight than the canister fuel setup. Also, as we burn, as we get our boils out of these, obviously the weight of these is going to go way down so we're going to be losing weight faster off of our alcohol setup than we would off of our canister fuel stove setup. So now a little bit more about each setup. So this is my canister fuel setup. Like I said, tons of people are used to this. Super easy. You can get these stoves on Amazon, uh, REI, pretty much anywhere. Um, a super simple setup. So once I put that on there, I just open my fuel up, set my pot right on top, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's super easy and uh, not much to it. Um, if you are a beginner backpacker, this is definitely the way to go. Now with the alcohol setup, I have my little piece of titanium foil that I'm going to set my stove right on top of. Um, this Graham weenie I got from Dutchware. Um, you can get these um, from batch stoves, I believe. They may sell only directly through Dutchware, um, but it's super cheap. This was like uh, 15 or $17, something like that. And uh, there's not a lot to it. Um, I opted to get this cold weather wrap. This is to help prime the stove, to heat it up, um, to get it uh, burning faster. Um, it burns out of these little side jets. So uh, you don't need any additional pot stand. I can just take this stove right here and set my pot directly on top of it. And it'll come out of those side jets and burn up right here along uh, the outer side of my pot. Um, you could even use a slightly larger pot, maybe the 750, um, but the 650, I've done a boil test and it worked really well. Um, so this is um, the stove setup. Now you will have to add the windscreen around that and that's because alcohol stoves are super susceptible to wind. So um, if you have any sort of breeze at all, you're gonna lose all your heat and it's gonna make this thing way less efficient than it already is. As you can tell here on my alcohol bottle, I've uh, added some markings on here. This is an old one, um, so they're starting to come off. I need to redo those probably, but that's an easy way to be able to tell how much fuel you're using. Like I said, you're going to use around one ounce um, to boil water, maybe slightly less. If you just want to get it hot, you can also see down in there they have a mark for one ounce of fuel. The only problem I see with that is that it draws the fuel up um, through the bottom of the stove and so that's not going to uh, stay accurate for a super long time. So once I get that added in there, I just add my stove right on top. 
Now I've also uh, modified my windscreen so I have it just slid together. You can see that bend that I have there and I have opposite bends in my windscreen um, with that added. I also added another fold right there so I can make this thing tighter in if uh, it's a little bit windier. And in that case, I would just fold my handles down on my pot and this windscreen will fit a little tighter around there. Lose less heat that way, but I would definitely have to use something to be able to grab the pot with. So that is the alcohol setup. And uh, I will take it out in my garage and I'll show you exactly what that looks like um, whenever we light it. And we'll see um, some uh, little boil test um, and see exactly how long it takes to boil some water. All right, so we're going to start our boil test. Uh, my water I'm starting with is 12 ounces, which is typical of what I would boil at one time. And it's starting out around 60 degrees, which is... Uh, most of the time probably pretty typical of the water temperature in my area. So now I'm going to take and put one ounce of fuel into my uh, stove here. So now if it's cold outside, um, you add some fuel right here to this wrap and you can light this. That'll help prime the stove and uh, heat it up. If not, um, we can light right here in the middle where our uh, fuel is at and that's going to end up burning up through here. Once it vaporizes the fuel and it starts burning out of these side jets, that's whenever we are free to set our stove directly on top. So now I just popped out. I can see flame coming out the side right here. So I'll take my pot and put it right on top. You can see we got a good flame coming around and obviously there's no wind here in my garage but I can add my windscreen and we'll see how long it takes so it has been four minutes and 45 seconds and I'm starting to get a good boil going that is pretty dang fast for an alcohol stove. You can see there, let me move my windscreen. Still had good flame going, but it just about burned out. So that uh, one ounce of fuel comes in right at a boil and it burned for around probably uh, five minutes, maybe closer to five and a half minutes for uh, how long it was lit before that. So I'm really happy with the results. Um, that burned super quick and uh, puts out a lot of heat. So I'm really excited about using this setup and I think it's gonna work great for me, especially during summer, cut off um, a huge amount of weight for um, a one to two night trip, which is like I said, what I typically do.